What's up, guys? Welcome to the Ravenscroft Sports Report. Uh, this week we're going to have a little debate. You know, what's the most exciting sport to watch? Um, on the panel we have uh, me, Chris Corciani. I'm in favor of baseball. LJ Young. You got basketball all day. No, no contest. And you got Mike and uh, football. Football is the way to go. Yep. And uh, let, let's give our reasonings why. Who's going to go first? Yeah. No, I, I'll start it off with you. Uh, you know, football is an exciting sport to watch. You get about five, six seconds of just hardcore. You get hitting, you get speed, you get catches, you get jukes, you get people getting broken ankles, like just, oh, that juke was so good. You get uh, the big guys like pushing and getting in fights. You know, what else is that legal? I mean, besides hockey, but that's, you know, out of the question because that's just too violent. And then, you know, you got those incredible athletes like, you know, Vernon Davis. 6'4", he's like in the upper 200s and he's running a 4'3". You don't find that in basketball? And that I'd say you'd find better in basketball, actually. We can, we can go ahead and go dive right into the LeBron James debate. He's arguably the, the greatest athlete there ever was. And on a nightly basis almost, you get to see him do his thing on the court. And you have guys' quickness, you have dunks. There's, there's things happening almost every, every second in basketball, and I think there's nothing more exciting than that. And we don't even have to get into college basketball and the whole atmosphere is around that. So I'm going to go there for now. I'm, I'm just going to disagree with both of you on this one. Um, I, I do feel like both of you guys are a little bit biased because it's your sport. I don't play baseball. I just I love the game. And it's a great sport where you can just you know sit back, relax, enjoy it, you know, get, get some peanuts. Oh, yeah, if you're 80 years old maybe and you have three hours to watch the game. Well, I want to see something exciting. It's a game of patience, and there's also excitement. The home runs, the home run derby. You un you underestimate how hard it is to, you know, to hit the ball. That's just ridiculous. And you know, hey, hold on. Some people see that baseball got too many games. You guys have like 161 games a season. That's a lot of games, and I mean, who has time to follow that? You know, with football, they keep it simple. You know, after you get out of church on Sundays, you go get a little brunch. Go home, catch the game, relax, chill, get out of your church clothes, you know, and it's like excitement every week because it's not like you get to see the game every day. It's like only on Sunday. Yeah, I agree with that. It does. It acts as a good preseason for basketball nah. when, uh, when the real sport happens because those those guys are working. It's a year-round thing in basketball. They're working hard and they're bringing us a show every night. You're getting different plays every night. You're getting dunks. You might get a, a bench guy scoring about 30. 15 assists, you know, you know, you don't really see that in football. You get the same guys, you get, you know Kevin I mean, Johnson's going yeah, for about they, 200 okay. yards. You know, you know, let me attack football real quick. Uh, I mean, I understand it's exciting, I, even though the sport does, like, stop after each play. But let's look at the players Baseball that are, stops after every pitch. <laughs> okay, let's look at the players that are playing in this game. I mean, we got, like, Aaron Hernandez. Michael Vick, he's hurting animals out here. These guys, I just can't watch it. You know, it's it's. I, I do like football, but it's, I mean, it has nothing on baseball. These guys are classy gentlemen that <laughs> that take steroids, right? Okay, uh, they do. Yeah, yeah. Barry Bonds, you know, they do take a little bit of steroids, but yeah, they're not they're not punks. And to attack basketball, I love the game, but sometimes in the National Basketball Association, they just don't play that much defense. It's a little rough to watch. Well, um, I definitely have to disagree because you have guys like Tyson Chandler and I can go on on Aaron Aflalo, uh, you know, guys that can really defend and get after someone and that can be exciting. I mean, we have a little finesse game now. You don't get all the, you can get that physical play, you can get some finesse, you can get anything you want. We don't want the barbarianism that we see in football, That's, but yeah. you know, you get physical play, you get finesse. You know, you said, uh, you said that dunks are exciting, but after a while, you know, a dunk is just a dunk. I, mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it is. It's, it's watered it's down thing. after a while. It's, it's a, oh, I don't then, know. When you get yeah. a, when you get a six foot, six, sub six foot guy, like let's say a Nate Robinson, he goes and dunks on a guy like Dwight Howard. I'm pretty sure anyone can get excited about that. Yeah. Okay, what about a 102 right? mile per hour fastball? Roll this Chapman coming right at you. On your I can drive a, I can drive a car that speed, so it's not very exciting to me. I, I just don't understand how you guys don't think baseball is the most exciting. It's exhilarating. No way. You might as well play golf.